as the Monday Night Raw roster is gearing up for SummerSlam. Welcome to you live in Birmingham, Alabama, in front of over 15,000 fans here tonight, where tonight Raw will have Roderick Strong go one-on-one -on -one with Drew Gulak in a qualifying matchup for the Cruiserweight Championship Fatal 4 match at SummerSlam. Also later on tonight, more Money in the Bank qualifying matches will take place as we're going to have the former Raw Women's Champion Ruby Riot in action as she goes one-on-one -on -one with the iconic Mickey James. So much more tonight on the Red Brand. Speaking of Money in the Bank qualifying matches, here's another one for you. That's the unstoppable force. Mix away down the aisle. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from San Diego, California, Nia Jax. Nia Jax making her way down the aisle towards the ring. Nia Jax couldn't get the job done. She was the first one eliminated in the fatal four way elimination match back at WWE Vengeance pay per view. Being given another opportunity here tonight to go on to Money in the Bank in Las Vegas, Nevada. They're going to take on a former multiple time SmackDown Women's Champion. Been trying to scratch the surface and here on the in Dana Brooke. From Cleveland, Ohio, Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke has been trying to scratch the surface on the red brand for some quite uh, for quite some time now on Monday Night Raw. Dana Brooke has been trying to find that opportunity, trying to get that one big win she needs in order for her to move up the ladder in the Monday Night Raw women's division. And we don't want to take her lightly, but then again, she's been on a slope over the past year and a half. Dana Brooke, again, multiple time women's champion over the blue brand. She's had major success as SmackDown Women's Champion have feuds with Paige and others and now tonight gets a big chance as she, as she goes up against one of her biggest challenges to date in Nia Jax Bell's wrong and there we go first matchup begins DDT by Nia able to take Brooke down but not and out not able to take her down and out Iris looked there by Brooke got in the corner and able to dodge it Nia Jax got out the way that time and now Brooke got it here on the side, Russian leg sweep. I went off for a quick breather, got back in the ring. Now just taunting his Brooke now. Back in the ring, got Nia Jax from behind. With a side Russian leg sweep once again, and a big kick to the chest took her down. As Nia now got her hands on Brooke. As Brooke being launched off the top rope. Dana Brooke not looking good. Nia Jax though. We're gonna finish off Dana. Wait a minute, got her up. No! Samoan drop. A Samoan drop there by Nia. Would that be the demise of Dana Brooke here? Leg is hot. Shoulders are down. Nia's going to SummerSlam. Wow. Dana Brooke went down and didn't even try to fight back. Dana Brooke got taken down and out by the, the unstoppable force in Nia Jax. So Nia Jax, even though the fans don't like it, but Nia Jax threw to go on to SummerSlam and Dana Brooke looks disappointed. Well, as the night rolls on, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, or, uh, later on tonight rather, we're gonna have a six men over the top row battle royale with a winner. We'll get an opportunity at the United States Championship at SummerSlam. So back live on Monday Night Raw. Get her for some tag team action from the number one contenders for the tag team title. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 447 pounds, Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder. The major bros. We're going to get another win tonight here on the Red Brand. Got a win last week over the, the Revival, one of the best tag teams, if not the best tag team in all of WWE, especially on the Raw roster. 
They're gonna take on a very popular tag team on Monday Night Raw. Here they come. They're gonna bring the swag back here on Monday Night Raw. Montez Ford into the Dawkins. The Street Profits. And they're coming at a combined weight of 492 pounds. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins. The Street Profits. They gotta keep this in mind though. Zach Ryder and Kerr Hawkins have gotten win after win after win on Monday Night Raw in tag team action against the likes of AOP and the Revival last week and other tag teams as well. And now they have a chance to get to again prove why they are the number one contenders for the Raw Tag Team titles and will face the OC Gallus and Anderson at SummerSlam. But they gotta keep this in mind as well. The Street Profits have been looking for an opportunity. They are, are they are hungry. They want a shot at the tag team titles, and I'm sure a big win over the number one contenders could possibly, possibly add them into the tag team title picture. As popular as the, as the Street Profits may be, they rarely or barely at all got a win on Raw. So. Maybe tonight, things could be different. And in my book, a win is a win. Bell strong and here we go. Meaning that it doesn't matter how you win, no disqualification, or by disqualification, or count out, doesn't really matter. A win's a win, in my book. Got a tie up as, ooh, Kurt Hawkins. A little cheap shot off to Montez, and oh! Accidentally took out the referee, and Montez took him down, gut first. And now, Montez able to take a, take Hawkins out to the middle rope as Montez driving the knee to the spine. Okay, Kerr Hawkins got a little excited, took out the referee by accident. Montez with a scoop slam. Nice scoop slam there by Montez forward. And I'm going to bring Hawkins to the corner. Went for a drop kick, no event. And I got him up here. That's an Oku driver. I mean, a win could do wonders for the Street Profits tonight against Hawkins and Ryder. I mean, the last time they ever held tag team gold was all the way back in 2008. That's the last time they held tag team titles. It's been 10 years since. Over 10 years and never held the championships. So obviously they're not gonna change that at SummerSlam. Less than four weeks from tonight. One for a drop kick did not get him though. D did Montez. Front headlock is Hawkins. Try to apply pressure, but obviously Montez able to escape it. Got him in the corner now. And able to turn that around. Back elbow there by Montez Ford. So Hawkins and Ryder brought the fight to the revival last week. They're gonna do the same to the straight profit. Scoop slam by Hawkins. Big shot to the midsection, Irish swoop over the top, hanging on. At times, as Hawkins make a tag, here comes Zack Ryder. Zack Ryder's been in this position before. Last time Zack Ryder was a champion, was all the way back at SummerSlam last year. When he was SmackDown Tag Team Champion with Mojo Rollin. That's, oh, Montez throws the 360, splash in the corner. Zack Ryder now, Iris up into the corner. Referee need to get out of, that, out of that position there. Need to get out of that corner. Zack Ryder, after, after that night, Ryder has never been the same since. Him and Mojo Rawley quietly split from each other. As Montez Ford got Zack Ryder here to go DDT! Glided him head first. And now Montez, looking to do something here. Look at the Tulsa. After this matchup, we're going to hear, we're going to see, rather, Roderick Strong in action against Drew Gulak for a set up the Cruiserweight title at SummerSlam. Vertical suplex there by Ford. And now Montez Ford going up top, like a rider. Montez is going to fly, elbow drop, trying to stop a rider, but didn't work out. Rider on the 
Leg Lariat known as the Rough Rider. Rough Rider planning down Montez Ford. They were to drag him away from Dawkins. Uh, has time been wasted? Missed it to Dawkins with a kick out of two by four. A lot of time was wasted when Sacramento was dragging forward away from his partner. But then again, Montez Ford had enough time to recover and able to kick out. Even though Dawkins had a miscommunication and missed. Look at this! Tag team move! Splash! The spine buster! The splash! The leg is hooked! Two count! Ryder kicks out of town. For a quick second, I thought Street Profits were going to get a big dub over Ryder and Hawkins, but no. Zack Ryder had uh, Hawkins in the seated position. Made oh! Big right took him down. That must have made Zack Ryder a bit dazed there, if you ask me. Montez Ford, or rather, uh, Antonio Dawkins, trying to stop Zack Ryder from making a tag. Iris swoop over the top, hanging on. And again, created separation, just like Hawkins did. Created separation and made, made a tag. Smart move. That's why they've been a former tag team champion to the past. That's why they're going on the SummerSlam to compete for the tag team titles. Tag made. Here comes Dawkins. Wait a minute. Need a replay. Only this time on the Hawkins. The spy buster. The splash. The hook. The count. Not enough for a three. Kerr Hawkins is going to battle through the pain. Up to his feet. Got Montez here. No. Planet down forward. That's how you beat AOP on Raw many weeks ago. And obviously that didn't take down forth for good. Hawkins were not, it was not able to capitalize to go for a pin maybe. Because Montez Ford able to battle back and make a tag. Here comes Dawkins. Planted him down. Got first. And now they're going to go on and make a tag. Or crawl rather. But no. Angelo Dawkins is going to work on the left leg. As, oh, raking the eyes. And, oh, big kick to the midsection as well. Big run again by Dawkins. But Hawkins with a shoulder tackle. What's Kerr Hawkins going to do here? Herker Hawkins, kick to the midsection. Got him here. Puts him. Face first. Crashing down goes Dawkins. Is it enough? Will it be to show the kick out? Not enough at all. Dawkins got him in the corner. 360. No. Missed the splash. Oh, what the? A low blow. Hawkins with a low blow. Getting himself disqualified intentionally. Sure, Profits get a win, but that was totally uncalled for. And now Zach, wait, on the stage. Look, look on the stage, at the Raw Tag Champs. The OC, Gels and Anderson. I'm sure they're liking what they saw there. Hawkins and Ryder getting disqualified. If that happens at SummerSlam, OC still champs. The next time you'll see Monday Night Raw Superstars on pay-per-view following vengeance will be WWE SummerSlam as you take things old school in Las Vegas, Nevada. You don't want to miss SummerSlam about a month away. As we're back live on Monday Night Raw, still shocked that Hawkins and Ryder got themselves intentionally disqualified against the Street Profits. Honestly, a desperate move, but as we shift gears, now time for the Cruiserweights. Here comes the Messiah of the Backbreaker. Making his way to the ring from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds, Roderick Strong. Roderick Strong knows what it's like to hold on to that Cruiserweight Championship. A former two-time Cruiserweight Champion here in Universe Mode history. Roderick Strong won that title at Elimination Chamber last year. The most successful pay-per-view of all time. Also, able to win the championship back on a special episode of Main Event. Have classic battles with, with Cedric Alexander. 
And now they're gonna do the and same here's with Kulak. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. Here comes the Pennsylvania, the Pennsylvania native in Drew Gulak, a former contender for the Cruiserweight Championship back at the Elimination Chamber this season when it went, went up against Mustafa Ali. We're gonna find a way to get back into that circle, that inner circle of the Cruiserweight Championship title picture. Gotta go through Roderick Strong to do so. Here we go, matchup begins. Got over time, side headlock. That's Gulak now, got him grounded. We're gonna wrench on the head and neck area of the Messiah of the back here. Roderick Strong. Mr. Ring of Honor here. We're gonna out-wrestle Drew Gulak, who was a submission specialist. Very technically sound is both men in this match. As Ring Gulak got him up. Wait a minute. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever seen an offense like that from Gulak. A torture rack and just tossed him. Good grief. I hope it's time once again. I had like there by Gulak. And look at that. Able to use a two to hip toss. Able to take down Roderick Strong here. We already have Leo Rush in this fatal four way match. Set at SummerSlam for the Cruiserweight title. Shane McMahon making a right move in my mind, bringing back the Cruiserweight Championship. Gonna give the Cruiserweight some time here on the Red Bryant. Off the ropes, go strong. Ducks to the Gulak. Try to go for a back elbow, blocked it. Close line takedown by right Strong. A lot of uh, action going on tonight on Monday Night Raw as Monday Night Raw trying to build towards SummerSlam. Back elbow there by right Strong. And I try to go for a scoop, able to counter. Not to mention that Strong missed the knee in the corner. Big clarion there by Gulak. And up Gulak again. They're going to work on the arm with an arm bar. And Roger Strong tapped out. His summertime dreams will be faded away. And classifying itself as up so late. Strong able to file out the hold. Iris Swift got him in the corner. Big close under the back. Close under the back. Will that be enough to go to SummerSlam? No. Not even a one count. Not even a one count. Now Ira Swift got him in the corner, trying to go for it again, but no, Gulak had that one scouted there. And now Gulak got him here, snatch two, able to shift the body weight, then Strong able to direct the suplex move, and now taking Gulak to the outside. As Men and Raw getting a new look as they're heading towards the new season. Big forearm shot there. And, oh wow, head first on the apron. You notice that there's no LED board there, no LED post. Did to go old school. Roger Strong being sent across the ring side. Again, a shot at SummerSlam. Roger Strong looking to win back a title he hasn't held in over a season. Versus Gulak, who never held the title to begin with, and then looking to take advantage of this opportunity now. As, oh, face first into the post. That steel post. And now, can a eight, can a nine strong, risking it there. Bringing Gulak in the ring first before he can do it himself. No oh, shot to the midsection there by Gulak. Gulak got him. Wait a minute. No. Oh! Different version of a suplex. Able to take him down onto the back of his neck. Now Roger Strong. Got his hands on Gulak, and that brings him in the corner. Look at that spike him head first, out to the top turnbuckle pad. I once heard that even though there's a padding on the, the exposed buckle, it barely does any safety at all, it barely saves you. As Roger Shaw looking to put away, Gulak trying to go for the end of heartache, but able to counter. Able to get him on the right, back fist, kick to the midsection, here comes Strong, butterfly suplex. Roderick Strong now, oh, got the arm roll through the Gulak, drop to hold. Drop to hold, and now look at this. Gulak again, dropping on the back of his neck. This is not good for Strong. Strong is down, will it be enough? Is he down and out? No, two count. Gulak, he feels. 
that that cruiserweight title could be his. All he has to do is get through tonight. Not look at this, Gulak with the Gulak, the Gulak, the Dragon Sleeper. Roger Strong's in trouble. Can he reach the ropes? He's trying to reach. He's trying to fight. He taps. Gulak is going to SummerSlam. My God. True Gulak is in the four way. Here is your winner, Drew Gulak. Some fans are not behind it, but Gulak earns himself an opportunity at the Cruiserweight title. Wow. Back live on Raw, I see Roderick Strong obviously disappointed that he didn't win the match. As a back, oh. The, the United States Champion, Adam Cole. Had been strong having the face-to-face -face there. I don't know what that's all about, but as we're back in the arena, in Birmingham, Alabama. As we got the former Raw Women's Champion, the most hated woman in all of WWE, Ruby Riot. Making her way to the ring from Lafayette, Indiana, Ruby Riot. I, I can honestly say, and I can tell just by her facial expressions, Ruby Riot feels naked without the women's championship, her women's title around her waist. And also, I bet what's going through her mind right now is that she wants and probably she thinks she deserves an opportunity at a rematch for the women's championship. But sadly, that would not be the case because rematch clauses are no longer a thing in universe mode. So if you want a title shot, you have to earn yourself a shot by winning matches. That's all you gotta do. Just win matches on a consistent basis and you'll be able to be in line for a championship shot. Look at the Major Bros. Able to win tag team match with the tag team match and now they're the number one contenders for the Raw Tag Team titles. Here comes the iconic multiple time women champion, Mickey James. And her opponent from Richmond, Virginia, Mickey James! Mickey James making her way down the alley. Gonna do a battle with Ruby Wright here. Ruby Wright now in a spot where she could possibly be women's champion again, but all she has to do is get through tonight and then get through at SummerSlam by winning money in the bank. Just like how she won the contract from Ember Moon at the Royal Rumble earlier this year. Here we go, Ruby Wright coming in hot! Trying to go for a drop kick, but James blocked it. Cut up a tie up side headlock there by James now. Able to transition to a wrist lock. Ruby Wright able to escape the hold. Able to counter, they're gonna wrench the arm in the back of James though, which is twerking in as well. Back elbow there, cut over tie up again. Waist lock there by Riot. And now Wright able to trip her and take her down face first. James to be seemed to James seemed to be upset, but Riot able to kick her in the chest, but able to block the second time The James. Trying to go for a kick of her own, but that time Riot had it scout. And a big kick. And an eventful Monday Night Raw has been so far as flying form there by James. Major Bro is getting disqualified with a low blow by Hawkins onto the Street Profits. So who knows what that situation is going to be like coming up next week on Monday Night Raw when Raw goes live in Portland, Oregon. As Mickey James got her here, stop, suplex. Also, Mike Jacks qualified for the Money in the Bank. So obviously, we're going to have the third spot filled tonight. It's either going to be Ruby Riot, Riot or Mickey James rather, Nia Jax. And Ronda Rousey representing Monday Night Raw in the six woman Money in the Bank ladder match at SummerSlam. That's right! Hurricane Raw to take them. Got Mickey James looking for him. And another one by Ryan. With the shot, takes down James. And now, Mickey James gets sent over the top rope to the outside. Got a one by the referee. Big kick to the midsection by James. And Mickey 
And the flying attack takes down Riot. It's Riot able to trip her down and take her down with the leg sweep. Trying to go for a kick and roll, but did not work out. Kick to the back of the knee. Got her up on the shoulders. Riot counter DDT. Got a four by Earth on the outside. As, oh, rickety eyes. A dirty, vile woman is, is Ruby Riot. As Riot now they're going to seize the opportunity. James might be in trouble after getting her eyes raked. Riot kick! Her eyes getting raked. The Riot kick. Is that enough? Hooks the leg to Riot. Qualifies. Ruby Riot qualifies. Here is your winner, Ruby Riot. Ruby Riot qualifies for Money in the Bank ladder match. So she's the final woman to qualify at SummerSlam. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, our main event. A five-man, I must correct myself, a five-man number one contenders battle royale. Well, the winner will face Adam Cole at SummerSlam for the U.S. title live next on Raw. Oh, my. Next week on Monday Night Raw, we're going to see the man, the Raw Women's Champion, will be live in action in Portland, Oregon. You don't want to miss it. The man, Becky Lynch, the Raw Women's Champ, on Raw next week. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Bit of a time on Raw. Who's going to go to SummerSlam to fight Cole? Making his way to the ring. From Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. There comes Chad Gable, who's been in this position before. We're able to win a battle royale back at the Backlash kickoff show. Able to go on to fight Adam Cole on the Monday Night Raw following Backlash for the United States Championship. We're going to do the same thing, but at SummerSlam on the main show. Uh-oh. We got Chad Gable, and we got everybody's favorite yes man, the Planet Champion. Opponent, first, from Aberdeen, Washington, weighing in at 210 pounds, Daniel Bryan. I once had a conversation with Daniel Bryan, and he went on about why he's a vegan and, you know, talking about reuse, reuse, recycle. Talking about that he's the Planet's Champion. He wants to be the Planet's Champion. So Daniel Bryan told me to call him that on commentary. So Planet's Champion and Daniel Bryan. They're going to possibly become a, 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 a United States Champion once again. But he has to go through this battle royale. Uh oh. We got Daniel Bryan. We got Chad Gable. They're going to make Monday Night Raw. Mmm. Mmm. Gorgeous. With a former United and States champion. And seasonal residences. Weighing in at 212 pounds. Tyler Breeze. Tyler Breeze is going to take advantage of this opportunity. Last time we saw Breeze had a great match with AJ Styles on Raw. And now tonight. They're going to toss. All the uggos outside the ring and go on to fight Adam Cole on a grand stage. The biggest throwback of the year in SummerSlam. Uh-oh. There comes a brute. A man that has no Fs to give. From Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 190 pounds. You notice by the crowd reaction, the crowd barely recognizes, or at least the crowd in Birmingham, Alabama barely recognizes Oni Lorcan. Well, tonight, they're going to chance to recognize him. Oni Lorcan from Boston, Mass, looking to punch his ticket to a big event. But here comes a man that's been there before. And Kevin Owens! For the first time since WWE Backlash, Kevin Owens is back 
for the Red Brand. Kevin Owens, a man that's held a lot of championships in the WWE, held the Intercontinental Championship four times, held the WWE Championship three times, but never ever held, I believe so, never held the Intercontinental Championship. Or the United States Championship, I should say. Never held the United States Championship. That's a, my bad on on me and that one. Only Lorcan, Chad Gable, Tyler Breeze, and Kevin Owens, and Daniel Bryan, a five-man battle royale for a shot at Adam Cole. I'm only one man, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna make mistakes. As uh, Tyler Breeze got him in the corner, or spiked him out of the corner. Daniel Bryan able to counter, got him, inverted DDT. A lot of action going on in this five-way. Now some might question why this is not a fatal five-way normal matchup instead of a Battle Royale-like matchup. Well, I don't know. Ask Shane McMahon that, don't ask me. That's Kevin Owens with a backdrop on the Chad Gable. Big right there by Owens. We're gonna take care of Chad here. Chad Gable might be in trouble on the uh, the ropes. Look at Daniel Bryan and Lorcan. Now what a match that would be! Only Lorcan, the hard hitting superstar against Daniel Bryan over the top onto the outside. A former multiple time United States champion, Daniel Bryan has been eliminated from this matchup. Suplex there by Lorcan. I believe a German suplex that took down Breeze. And now we're down to four. And then again, I'm sure everyone enjoys a good old battle royale. Over the top rope as Jack Gable might be sent over the top. He, he went over the top and he's on the bottom rope and able to get back in the ring and still in this matchup. Daniel Bryan and Tyler Breeze are going to battle it out in the ring as Lorcan and Owens will hold back up to his feet. Lorcan down for the moment. As uh, they're going to oh, go first. Up to the top rope there goes Lorcan. Daniel Bryan is gone. We got Chad Gable. We got only Lorcan here. Look at this. Wait. Oh. Big neck breaker takes down Owens. Last time Kevin Owens won a battle royale was at WrestleMania kickoff show, which led him to get a WWE Universal Championship opportunity. Keep that in mind. So we have Chad Gable who won a battle royale. We have Kevin Owens who won a battle royale. So one of those men must be a favorite in this match. As Kevin Owens sets Gable over the top. Gable eliminated. We're down to three now. As Owen Lorcan, they're going to send Tyler Breeze onto the outside here. Look at Owens, they're going to chip in. This match might not be gorgeous for Tyler Breeze. Hanging on. On the bottom rope now. They're going to kick him out the ring. Look at Breeze. They're going to fight back. Breeze is still in the match. Kick to the midsection. Only Lorcan got him again. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, wow. Neck breaker takedown. Oh, able to dodge Tyler Breeze there. He saw Breeze trying to go for a flying forearm, but did not get Only Lorcan. Big shot there by Breeze. Watch out, watch out. Got him here. I'm prettier. They're going to make Only Lorcan on pretty here in this matchup. But Lorcan got him. German suplex lying on the back of his neck. As Oni Lorcan is the only one that's standing tall in this matchup. As. Oh! Big overhead arm drag and a clothesline takes down Owens. There's a Owens and Breeze battling it out. Tyler Breeze is chilling in the bottom rope. 
Wonder Lorcan looking to get rid of Kevin Owens here. It's going to be a big, tough uh, task to do. As Owens able to battle back, runs into a knee lift by, by Lorcan. What an opportunity it would be for Wonder Lorcan to go to SummerSlam. His first major pay per view to compete on. It's a big opportunity there. Kevin Owens came to the midsection. Watch out! Off the ropes! We're going to finish it though! What a pump now! Counter! Counter the powerbomb! Slapped with the face by Omar King! Able to counter Owens of the powerbomb. Got Breeze up to, on the top rope. His third attempt. Can he get rid of Tyler Breeze? Breeze with a lot of grip. Able to fight back and get back in the ring. The referee's got him. Sorry, rush to the light switch. All for a shot at Adam Cole. I'm sure Cole watching on backstage on the monitor. Hoping to God that Kevin Owens did not get eliminated. And he just did. Close side by Lorcan. Able to catch Kevin Owens slipping. Kevin Owens took his eye off the ball for a quick second. Got caught. Pulls on to the outside. We're down to two now. It's Lorcan and Tyler Breeze. Tyler Breeze has been on SummerSlam main card before. He's been there. He's been on this big stage. Odin Orkin, look at the scratch in the surface on the Monday Night Raw roster. Super kick. Supermodel kick there by Breeze. What's Orkin going to do? Trap blocked it. Kick to the mid section. Got him here. Look at this. Watch out. Pump handle back. Stabber. That was like a pump handle backstabber there by Breeze. Tyler Breeze is going to go for the unprettier again. Oh, wait, no! Half and half! Mocking Woody Lorcan there! But bad move! Lorcan able to block it. And now Lorcan looking to chuck him over the top, but Breeze able to hang on to the ropes. Big shot blocked. Lorcan got his hands on Breeze. Only Lorcan. His Twitter handle is Star Destroyer. Wait a minute! Only Lorcan! Only Lorcan is going to SummerSlam! Austin Bruisers going to SummerSlam! Adam Cole! Hold on to your title tightly! Good night everybody from Raw in Birmingham!